In today's lesson, I want to change it up a little bit. Do a lot of instructional stuff, tutorial stuff, which that will not stop. But I want to talk about practice today. I'm not going to show you anything on ukulele. We're going to talk about how to practice. Now, this is not going to be your five minutes on scales, five minutes on music reading. I mean, there's plenty of videos out there that you can see like that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how do you practice. Okay, that's what I want to talk about this today. So when you practice, here's rule number one. Whenever you're practicing, play music. This is something that was taught by me by the great Joe DiOrio when I was at University of Southern California. No matter what, when you pick up your instrument, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's ukulele or not, but since we're ukulele players, make music. Just, just play musically. Right? We think of practice as this really stiff and you know, unfun thing we have to do. Yes, we are practicing, but we want to make it musical. That means add some dynamics to the music, add some feeling to the music, add some personality to the music. Right? Take those notes that are on the page and bring them to life. I mean, that's what we have to do as musicians. So practice musically. Two, you have to practice for what, you know, what is coming up. So if you have a big concert coming up and you gotta get down five songs, well, you better practice your butt off until you get those five songs down, right? It's, it's what is the deadline? What is, what is coming up that you need to get stuff down? So the amount of practice is gonna determine what, how important this event is or what you gotta do. So if I have something coming up where I gotta learn, you know, let's say 20 songs, then I better plan, I better get back and schedule some time to transcribe those songs, practice those songs, get those songs down, not only in my hands, but in my head, and then so I can rehearse that set over and over again, because if I'm playing in front of a bunch of people or for a really important event, then I wanna make sure that I'm prepared. So I can't say, well, if I just put in 45 minutes a day, I'm gonna be good. No, I might have to put in five, six hours a day I have to may stay up late at night. I may have to find the time to put that practice in so I'm ready. So there's not a set like if you just put in 20 minutes a day, you're going to be a great ukulele player. I mean, I can't, I can't tell you that. I mean, if that's what you want to hear, that's not the reality of being a musician. You're going to have to put in the time that you need to put in. I mean, a lot of the greatest people in the world, whether you're talking about musicians or athletes, they, they practice more than anybody else. So someone like Kobe Bryant, basketball player, he was already naturally gifted. That dude worked harder than anybody else. So you have to just put in the time that's required. Okay, so this is not gonna be, as I mentioned, just a, a five step. You follow these five steps and you got a great practice. Now you gotta determine what is you're practicing for and you have to determine where you're at. Now, here's what I tell people all the time and I don't think a lot of people do it. Everyone has phones. You can record yourself, not only audio, but video. So to give yourself a real test is to set up your phone, take a video of yourself playing whatever piece you're playing, and then watch it back. You can tell right away if it's going good, if it's going bad, what sections you need to work on, what sections are good, what sections are bad. And then if you can't tell, then have someone else play it for somebody else and have them give you some honest feedback. Right, so this is a great way to do it. Just that's real, and a lot of people don't do it because, yeah, is it hard to do? Yes, it is. It's embarrassing to do because you may really suck at certain areas, and you don't want to deal with that. But as soon as you know that, then you can focus on that and fix that particular area. So recording yourself is really a great, great thing to do. Also, when you're practicing, as I mentioned, play music, but like perform. So like. You know, after you're done running, if you're running some scales or practicing a little section, like perform it just like you're playing in front of a bunch of people, right? So that, that means like, how would you walk up and sit down? How would you get ready to play? You know, would you get up there and go, um, oh, well, you know, this, this is really hard and I'm not really that good at this particular section. No, get up there and play it, right? This is still just in your, in your studio or your office or your bedroom, wherever you practice, right? But you're imagining that you're playing to a bunch of people because you've practiced and now this is your performance. So recording. And then play for people. You have friends or family or you can go out on the street, go in front of the grocery store and, and play. And play out 
if you really want to get some honest feedback of where you are with your practice and how you are doing. Is it performance ready yet? Or no, it's not ready yet. I still need to work on certain things. So, I mean, that's, that's invaluable right there. And if you really did that honestly, you would, you would really come a long way in your playing because you would self-diagnose a lot of the things that you're doing wrong or the things that you can improve on. So those are just a few things that you need to do to really step up your ukulele playing, step up your practice, and become a better ukulele player. There's no secret, all right? As I said earlier, there's no five-step formula to becoming great. It's about putting in the work. It's every single day. You pick up the ukulele. You find time. You schedule that time in. You may have to give something else up to do that, but you schedule time in and you do it every single day. And that's really where it's gonna come in to play down the long run, right? If you're thinking you're gonna learn an instrument in a few weeks, a few months or so, no, this is a lifelong journey. And the more time we put in, the more consistent practice and discipline time we come in, man, you're gonna see some incredible results. And just don't be one of those people that stops playing and then looks back in five years 10 years and goes, man, if I would have just continued playing, I'd be so great right now. So anyway, those are just a few tips that I can give you to practice, but be real with yourself, right? Be honest with yourself, see where you're at, see the steps that you need to do to improve and, you know, record yourself, you'll see it. And then once you do fix those problems, and I guarantee you, you're going to start seeing some progress and you're going to become a lot happier and a much better ukulele player. Mm -hmm.